I am honored to have this opportunity to speak to you this morning. My name is Carla, and I am a college student from Lawrence, Massachusetts, and the sole breadwinner for my family. I wouldn't be able to put enough healthy food on the table without the help of the Greater Boston Food Bank. My story begins four years ago, when my mother and I moved to Lawrence from Puerto Rico. The economy in Puerto Rico was collapsing, and the schools were in horrible condition. No one cared if the students or even the teachers showed up to class, and so we left because I wanted to have a better education. I was ecstatic when I arrived to Lawrence High. I studied hard because I knew I wanted to go to college. All the schools that I applied to, they all excited me. But they were all too expensive for me, therefore I decided to stay local and go to and attend Northern Essex Community College. When I began studying there in fall of 2015, my mother, Jo Casta, was diagnosed with breast cancer for the second time. She beat it once before in Puerto Rico when I was a kid, but now it came back as stage four cancer. She has tumors in both of her lungs, her shoulder, and her spinal cord. It hit me hard because I'm an only child. <laughs> my mom was in a lot of pain and it's just me and her. As the only person in my house working, I was under a lot of pressure. I was shopping, cooking, taking care of the bills, taking care of my mom, and I was going to school full time. On top of all of that, I also had three jobs, and I participated in extracurricular activities as, such as student government. We had SNAP benefits, also known as food stamps, but because I was working part-time, we only received $20 a month, and we struggled a lot. Shortly after my mother was diagnosed, my school decided to partner with GBFB and hosted a mobile market. The market gave me the opportunity to take home a 30-pound bag of fresh produce each month. Hundreds of students came to the first market in spring of 2017. They brought home fruits and vegetables they normally can't afford, but they needed to be healthy. It was great because before that, my mom and I could only afford the basics, and the couponing was ridiculous. <laughs> With the food from the market, I could make Puerto Rican dishes such as asopao, which is a thick soup with rice and vegetables. The food I took home lasted a couple of weeks, and it took off a lot of stress from my mind. It was less one less thing I had to worry about. Having food at home allowed me to actually focus on my studies, and I graduated North in Essex with a 3.4 GPA. After two and a half years, I graduated from NECC, and today I'm attending UMass Lowell, double majoring in international business and marketing. I hope to eventually graduate with my master's degree. Without GBFB, <laughs> without GBFB, I would have never been able to imagine this. The market has helped out so many students of all ages, all backgrounds, single mothers, immigrants, um, and others whose students who struggle just to get by. I've had students tell me that without this market, they wouldn't have food in their house, period. So thank you all for coming here this morning and supporting this organization, and thank you so much for listening to my story.